previously on the Distro Hopper 39B show. Windows 7 would have better software support, so if you want to see me install that on this computer in the future, let me know down in the comments. Four months and 7,000 views later, I finally did it. If you didn't watch part 1 of the series, I'd recommend you do, but I'll give a brief summary of what happened. I got this ThinkPad T43 from a thrift store for $5 a few years ago, and decided to see how good it was for modern tasks in 2022. In that video, I used Ubuntu 18.04, and while the desktop ran okay, web browsing was very slow in Firefox. YouTube played back terribly in the browser, dropping 3 quarters of the frames, but ran flawlessly in VLC Media Player. While applications such as LibreOffice worked fine, Minecraft did not work due to the lack of OpenGL support for the Intel GMA900 on Linux. Because of these facts, I conclude that no, the T43 is not a usable computer in 2022. However, that was on Linux. And as great as Linux is, IBM never officially supported anything but Windows XP in 2000. However, Windows XP is very old and won't run modern software. There is an operating system, however, that is fully compatible with Windows XP drivers and modern software alike, Windows 7. I got myself a totally legitimate 32-bit Windows 7 install disk, inserted it into the computer, and installed Windows 7 on a 60GB mechanical hard drive that I had lying around. In case you're wondering, this computer will not support later versions of Windows due to the lack of GMA900 drivers for anything past Windows XP, with versions past 7 not supporting graphics beyond 256 colors and 800 by 600 resolution. However, despite Windows 7 being unsupported since 2020, most modern software works just fine. Web browsing performance in the latest version of Google Chrome is pretty awful, but it does actually work. Very surprisingly, I was able to play back a YouTube video, in full screen, with almost no frame drops. I installed an unofficial BIOS mod onto this computer to remove the hard disk errors when using a non-IBM hard drive. This sped up the boot process quite a bit, and I'll leave a link to the BIOS mod in the description. Note that this update requires Windows XP or later to be installed in order to work, and won't work under Linux due to the fact that it requires a Windows flashing utility. In the last video, I wasn't able to run Minecraft due to the Linux graphics drivers not working. However, after installing several updates to the system's root certificates, something that is required to run Windows Update and log into MultiMC with a Microsoft account, I was able to load Minecraft 1.8.9. I didn't bother trying any other versions, since the graphics drivers for the Intel GMA900 don't even support OpenGL 2.0, but 1.8.9 ran extraordinarily poorly. I mean, with all the settings set to minimum, it ran better, but who would want to play Minecraft like that? I'm sure Optifine would have improved performance, that is, if it didn't crash Minecraft, but I didn't bother even trying, since it wouldn't improve it that much. Overall, Windows 7 is definitely the best operating system choice. Maybe someday some graphics driver developers will allow OpenGL compatibility on this old card on Linux, or maybe they already have and I just suck at Linux. It's also unfortunate that Intel did not provide graphics drivers for Windows Vista for a chip that was just two years old when Vista came out, relying on the compatibility mode for the driver to work on any other operating system besides XP. If you liked this video, consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for the ridiculous amount of support on the first part. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the future.